Hey guys, welcome back. I am coming on to do the last six kits worth of kits for May I Scrap Lift You. I've had way too many of these videos, I know. This is going to be kit number 26. So I have to do 26 through 31 and then we can get creating, right? So I'm using all scrap room kits and this kit is from April 2023, super current. So I think that is awesome. I cannot wait to use it. Is there anything else to tell you? I don't know. Um, so it's super current. I'm very excited to get into it. Now, other things that I've told you guys in the previous video, I'm really concentrating on putting flair on every one of my layouts and something from my color drawers on every one of my layouts. I also have, if I don't have enamel dots or something left over from a previous layout, I'm also going to be bringing in my little bling bin. I mean, I've got metal pieces, I've got adhesive little um, sequins, and then all kinds of bling and pearls and all that kind of stuff. These are all like adhesive pieces. Because I never reach for this, I think I should kind of try to use it. So. That's what I'm thinking with that. So let's get right into kit 26 for May I Scrap Lift You. I'll of course have links down below for, you know, the May I Scrap Lift You series when the time comes, all that kind of stuff. So this is a double shot kit. So that means there will be three pieces of card stock that come with it. I have two sheets of natural, one sheet of jet stream. And then I have Simple Stories Wildflower product. So this is called love greatly super cool and there are all of these great little mothy bits look at that this piece here it's called breathe or well it says breath deep i wonder if it's supposed to be breathe deep i don't know what do you guys think and then we have a nice mustard tone and then finally this is complete bliss with some pink stuff I've got a big chipboard frame and kind of like, I don't know, like a gray sage. I have got some really nice looking foam, like title pieces and embellishments. I also have lots of little cute die cut pieces. So I have got this piece here days of the week. I've got an ampersand, some florals. Look at that pattern. A heart, some leafy bits, little mothy bit, the number two, a mustard circle, hello, a bow, and then a few different little circles with numbers and stuff. So this is going to be fun. I haven't used anything from this collection yet, so I'm looking forward to that. I think that would be super fun to get into something that is new in the market and new to me as well. So that will be awesome. And then, let's see. So let me get kit number 26 where it needs to go. Back in its little, back in its little baggie. And then I can show you the next one. Love, love, love these kits. So that's number 26. This will be number 27 that I have used. So let me get my paperwork out. We'll say number 27. Boop. And it looks like I put it away as a hot mess. Yes, I did. So this is an example like where I wouldn't necessarily have to go into the bling if I feel like I have enough of the dots when I am working, but you know, that's kind of, hmm, you never know until you're working on the layout. All righty, so I can tell from the feel that it's Cardabella, right? Because Cardabella feels amazing. So this is Cardabella here, there, everywhere. So I've got a nice little piece here, something of beauty. <laughs> and then this is gorgeous with the florals. Oh. That's part of that. Um, I've got this melon colored one with cameras. Let's see, is there a name? Making memories. 
Looks like I was gonna fussy cut that out, but didn't. This nice mustard color, a gut piece of like a deep coral, a black with florals, fresh daisies, and then a gorgeous little sage piece called three by four journaling cards. And I wanna cut out some of those pieces. They are gorgeous. You saw the enamel dots. And then I've got some die cut pieces. Capturing the best moment today. Cute little typewriter. So there's good pieces that you can tuck. Make a shaker maybe. Cute little um, macarons. The word hello. Life is good. And another little frame piece. Then, oh but wait, there is more. Then I have a 12 by 12 sticker sheet. So these are great because there's all kinds of titles. There's icons, border strip. Um, there are little word bits. So super useful. Love the little Polaroid up there, the record player, all of the cute things. Yes. So I want to use this kit up. I think that will be fun. So let's go ahead pop this in here and then let's see just a few more to go guys so kit 28 kit 28 is next let's see oops have a little bit of paperwork to put in there from design team stuff so kit number 28 is right here and it's beautiful, like super beautiful. So let's go number 28. There we go. And then let's see, let me get the extra embellishment things to the side as I find them. Yikes. So this is Simple Stories, Simple Vintage Life in Bloom. Looks like I used a cut file on that one. All right, so I do have a piece of black cardstock. And then I have all kinds of pieces just as a hot mess. This one's called Happy Memories. I've got this piece here, four by six elements. Oh, got another die cut piece right there. This one's called Beautiful Things. Then a piece that looks like I went ahead and got out, but guys, look, I can cut all of those butterflies out. So pretty. Oh, and these guys. Look at the typewriter, guys. That aqua. Oh, it's beautiful. Then this looks like a three by four sheet, and I do not have the title. Okay, I've got enamel dots, and they're sparkly. How fun is that? They're glitter enamel dots. I've got a bunch of the pieces from the page pieces. Super pretty. Big old title that reads beautiful. And then I've got half of a chipboard frame. It was supposed to be like a double frame and I only used one side. And then I've got some foam pieces. I've got the word life. Oh, I've got the word beautiful. We could have beautiful life guys for a title. Or life is a journey. And then I have a couple typewriter keys. Then I've got some tickets, the word amazing, some butterflies, a little tiny heart, and a butterfly that I think, yeah, it was a die cut. So that's perfect. So that's my kit. 28 is simple stories. I love it. I think it's beautiful. Okay. Let's go ahead and try to get that in there. Now, let's see, let's take, take a look at kit 29. So let's write number 29. Oh, my husband is using a weed whip outside of my window, but my window is not open. But if you hear like, what is that buzzing? That's what it is. So this is from Photoplay and it is Photoplay Family Fun Night. Do you guys hear that? All right, so we've got like this kind of a sapphire color cardstock. This piece is called Roll the Dice. This piece is called Game Rules. Your Turn. 
Then I have Sorry Not Sorry. And then let's see, I have a 12 by 12 sticker sheet with all kinds of nice title pieces and wordy bits, super fun. Got, oh, these are, I think these are the Simple Stories chipboard pieces and I have kind of like a deep melon color. That came with this kit. Um, then a nice little frame, some Yahtzee pieces and some circular pieces. And then really I have just a couple of die cuts. I guess I can just go like that. So I only have a few more pieces left in this one. So that will be kit 29. And guys, I don't have a lot of like game night kind of photos. So that'll be interesting to see what I come up with for that. I had one when I created with it for their design team, but yikes, I have no idea. So number 30, oh, it's beautiful, guys. It, this is beautiful product for number 30. Let me go like this. Number 30. Boop. So let me separate out a little bit. Oops, I just dropped a little piece of paper on Blue's head. Whoops. Whoops. Okay. Cardstock piece. Let's see. I'm trying to get this. It looks like when I put it away, I just did it rather quickly. Another piece of white cardstock. I've got, guys, that is gorgeous. Oh my gosh. I've got that piece. I've got paper number 10. I've got paper number six. Oops, I've got pieces that just went flying. I've got paper number 22. I've got paper number one. So I've got some papers, great. Then I have some scraps, although some of those were scraps. I've got some die cut pieces right here, not many, which is fine. Then I've got these chipboard pieces and these frames are trying to escape on me and I want to use them all on a layout. So. I've got the die cuts, I've got these chipboard pieces, and then I do have just a few of the puffies. Oh wait, guys, I found one more thing. Oh, but wait, I've got half of the cardstock stickers, and they've got this really nice little holographic vibe going on. So I will have plenty to eke out another layout with that kit, which I think is awesome. Now, let's see. I've got one more kit here. Hold on. I'm trying to decide what I can bring in. You guys, you know what? Since this video will go up in April, I cannot show you my last kit. You are just going to have to wait and see because it will be a current kit for May 2023 for the scrap room so I cannot put it up before the kits are revealed just how it is so you will see kits through kit number 30 for now and the last one will just have to be a surprise on May 31st all right guys that's what I have for you guys today I hope you like all the kit building kit reveals kit whatever because I didn't really build a kit <laughs> remember I'm going to use flare stuff for my color drawers and bling as extra little goodies in these layouts. All right, guys, I will have pertinent links down below and I'll see you guys ever so soon with another video. Bye guys.